Western Sydney or Leeds? Oh, come on, man. It's not... <laughs> Hey guys, um, I'm at Leeds train station. Um, I haven't been out and about with the camera for a while, so I'm just getting used to talking while everyone's walking past, trying to convince myself that no one cares what I'm up to. So um, yeah, it's a very interesting experience. Um, I'm actually heading to London today to do some filming. I'm going to sit down with Johnny Caraz, um, speak about the mega trip they've been on, talk a bit of rugby league and, and a bit of life. So uh, really excited. We're going to bring you along. Blake's taking over the Austin team channel today. Just got to London, guys. Um, I'm booking Uber. I uh, thought that Wimbledon was in London, so I've come to King's Cross. I'm a 30 minute cab right away. Uh, and I'll bring you guys along, so uh, just bear with me. There's also online rumblings that you played an international game with Portugal. Oh, yeah, I did. I played a few actually. You're a, you're a Portugal native, Blake. Oh man, I had some uh, Portuguese chicken once. <laughs> uh, do you know what? It's I'm embarrassed to sort of, like I I wouldn't change it because it it sent me on the path that I've been on. But I I do get a bit embarrassed and I like I I didn't do it as a piss taker or anything mm. like that. Um, my dad knew the coach, so my dad played with a guy that married a Portuguese woman, mm -hmm. and he had a desire to start Portuguese rugby league. I played with the De, the De Goises. Um Isaac, Isaac De didn't play, but his brothers did. Um, Isaac used to run the water. He said, you want to come for a match? And I was 16 at the time. So like they were playing Malta. So Jared Zemmett was playing. We were also playing. Who did John Scandalis play for? Greece? Yeah, Greece. Greece. So he was playing for Greece. So I thought I'm going to get a chance to mix it amongst some blokes that have played a bit of NRL, see where I'm at. So I took that as an opportunity to, to go and, and try. In the end, I, I, I ended up being one of their better players and they invited me back two or three times and... <laughs> Um, we, I was at Canberra and there was a kid that won a competition and for for winning the competition you got to um, interview your favourite Raider and the, I got I had to show him around the facility and we're, we're halfway through the tour <laughs> and the dad looks at his nine year old son and he says come on Brandon tell Blake why you've picked him <laughs> I said oh how, how come you've picked me mate and he went oh, I'm Portuguese too <laughs> so I kid you not and I said I said oh that's great mate yeah awesome and then we, we, we continued on the tour and I had to pull the dad aside and I said listen mate I didn't want to break his heart, but I feel like I've got to tell you that I'm not I'm not actually Portuguese and I'm like I'm really sorry. Like if the pale skin and the, the blonde hair didn't, didn't give, give it, away, it away, yeah, I'm I'm not Portuguese. So you're from Ronaldo's village, but, Madeira, Madeira. but if you like if you the amount of times I've had to answer this question, man, like it, it it's a bit embarrassing for me in the end. We, oh, mate, oh, we we've we've done the old ring ins where we've had to it's nothing to be bad. You're young, you want an opportunity, it's play on. Well, we went I'd on claim a, that I'm Portuguese. You're Portuguese now. <laughs> we went on a uh, pre season tour to to Portugal and I was quite surprised there was no roll out of the airport or anything no one, no one really knew I was coming back so you put Portugal rugby uh, league on the map yeah, yeah. so I played for Portugal played for, for Great Britain um, yeah and I'm from Mount Druitt so and Mount Druitt boy last one to wrap up Western Sydney or Leeds oh come on man it's not I, I miss it so much um, from Duneside so I lived in Duneside most mm. of my life obviously Duneside and Mount Druitt always had a rivalry when I was growing up so I was always the guy in between I used to have to get the train back to Mount Druid every day so I had to stay tight with them but then I'd play on the weekends with my doing so boys so uh, miss it so much it's, it's it's now got to a point where it's cool to be from Western Sydney I remember mm. I used to always be proud of it but probably not as loud as these boys you used to you know keep it on the down low a bit that you were from Mount Druid but also like it used to be rugby 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 league was the only way to get out of Mount Druid now mm. we've got rappers and UFC fighters and um People doing there's a podcast studio now. Two seven, guys, shout like, out to two seven. Yeah, guys doing shoes. It's, so they just they're setting a really good example for all the all the young kids coming through. And I wish, I just wish I had my kids back there experiencing a bit more of it. But it hey. uh, won't be long. Well, mate, you'll be welcome back with open arms again. I want to thank you for your time. Really appreciate you making the trip down from Leeds, mate. I'm sure we'll be seeing you back in the NRL in no time. But we've seen you back in Western Sydney with the rest of the boys, mate. Really appreciate your time. Thanks, it's been mate. a pleasure. Cheers, bro. Legend. Hey people, uh, so you just saw that I've been in London filming um, with the Karaz brothers, I uh, really enjoyed it, obviously got the train down for the day, um, they were staying in Wimbledon, they invited me down, I knew they were going to Wimbledon and me being the Aussie that I am, I, I just assumed Wimbledon was in London, it turned out it's in London but uh, about an hour and 
hour and five minutes the Uber was from Kings Cross Station, so I got that a bit wrong, but overall a good day, really enjoyed it. We spoke about um, my career, the early parts, um, the most recent parts and, and everything in between. Um, a couple of young kids that are working really hard and, and grinding away on you know, all the social media stuff and making a bit of a presence for themselves. Um, and probably a bit of a reminder that I, you know, it's something that I enjoy doing, talking a bit of rugby and talking about myself. Um, it's something I do quite easy, so is that right, Julian? Uh, yeah, so um, I also promised you guys I'd give you an update, um, not an announcement, but an update on my contract. Um, not too much has changed yet. Spoken to a few different parties, um, which is exciting. Um, still hoping to stay at Leeds. It's it's been my stance the whole way through. I'm happy to let you fans in on on the process, the frustrations, the you know it's it's a bit of a law in rugby that you know players can't really speak about you know their side of things when it comes to contracts and money and uh, their futures. And uh, I thought it'd be a great opportunity to bring you guys in. Uh, so yeah, I've, I've still got every intention to be at Leeds. It's a club that um, you know I played in the grand final for last year. I feel like I'm playing some good rugby this year, and we'd still have to stick around. So we'll wait and see. But um, that's part of the sport. So we'll keep plugging away. I obviously picked up a one-match ban this week, which is a bit frustrating. But uh, got every confidence in the boys, and uh, you know the trip to Salford. So I'll be there cheering them on, and uh, I might even check back in with you on game day. Other than that, life's good. We're plugging away. Um, I want to try and give you guys a bit more of an insight into this stuff. Julian's been very good lately, and the kids have been very good. But you know, I want to do a little bit more on the back of you know the podcasting and stuff I did the other day. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully, you enjoyed a little bit of insight. Um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Just on the way to the bus, uh, boys playing Salford today, so uh, head along to support. Can't wait to watch the game. Sit back and watch a bit of a fan, see my mates run around, and uh, I'll check back in after the game and give a little rundown of what went on. Uh, cheers, guys. Hey, guys. Uh, Sunday evening here in the UK. I uh, just got back from watching the boys down in Salford, but they're obviously, you know, jostling for similar positions on the table to us, so um, really good performance. A little bit scrappy, but um, this time of year, you just want to be winning and... Um, yeah, really good win. I thought C's had some really big moments at um, at the right time to really, you know, leave his stamp on the match. Um, you know, I think you know a lot of the good stuff we've been doing the last few weeks uh, can be attributed to to Force and Ash and what they're doing out of the corners. They're taking carries that no one wants to take and um, doing them to a really high standard. So um, they've been huge for us. And you know, I thought Cam Smith, you know, the try he scored and. Um, the work he got through um, was really important for today's win. Um, I went down, um, we got there nice and early, so there wasn't many staff around the stadium, but I, I was on the bench, um, and I had Cookie, our team manager, come up to remind me that when, when players are banned, you actually can't be anywhere near, apparently you can't be anywhere near the change room, um, the dugout, um, the field, so he asked me to get behind the fence. I had to sit there like a fan. Uh, luckily, uh, Big Sun Garo, being the nice guy he is, would, didn't leave me on my own and come and join me. And um, overall, a really good day. Um, so that's I'm going to sign off on the week. It's been a good week, been a busy week. I'll be back uh, against Hulk AR next week. It's a Friday night match, and I'm very excited for that. So um, hope you're all well. Thanks for tuning in. Um, hope you're in, enjoying the insight. Uh, I'm going to try and try and do a bit more. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.